Alright, so as this tutorial, let's do something interesting. Let's implement forget password. So for that, I will log out. And in the login screen, let's add a forget password button in here. Alright, so let's go to the auth, to the login in here. Search for login. And as I said, we can add it above this row actually all right so we can add a flat button or text button in here and give it text and say in it forget password like this let's save it all right so here it is let's uh, do some styling for it so style in here and give it text the style give it a color i will choose the color dot blue let's choose dot shade maybe 800 and let's add decoration for it which is text decoration dot underline to add underline line to it like this and let's strap this button by a new widget which is the align to align it to the right of the screen so in here let's say alignment dot right you can choose anything related to right and it will take it to the right as you can see in here all right let's strap it by padding i will give it 18 um we can give it 12 actually maybe better and actually i will change it to symmetric let's say choose vertical 2 and horizontal maybe 20 like this all right it looks better now we need to create a new file I mean a new file, a new Dart file to initialize a new class in it or a new screen to uh, in it for the forget password. So in here let's say new file and say in it forget password dot dart and uh, let's initialize a stateless widget or we can initialize a stateful widget to handle the loading if you want I'll just keep it status widget and in here say forget password like this we need to import the material package like this we don't need this key in here change this to scaffold like this and we need to add a route name to it so in here let's name it forget password and for sure we must initialize it in the main screen or in the main dot file i mean copy this paste it in here and we need to import this change this also like this all right so go back to the login and in here let's say navigator dot push named and we need to provide the route name now for the route name you can call forget password dot route name just like this now save it restart it because we imported a new file go to the look and and here it is now in the forget password screen we need to initialize the body i will initialize a column actually and children I will add first a sized box to give it some padding to the top and then I will initialize a text say for net forget password like this let's do some styling for it so style style like this text style and give it uh, we don't need to give it a color we give it 
size I will choose 40 for size let's see all right here it is drop it by some padding here it is I will choose 30 and let's give it font weight it will look better so font weight dot bolt like this all right so below it let's initialize a text uh, for the email so let's go back to, to in here and search for text and copy this I will copy it from with the padding and this is actually the text field of the email so we don't have to write it from the zero I will just copy it and paste it in here like this we need to remove this we need to initialize a string which is the email string like this so initialize it in here and I will actually directly copy something from here we can copy the block and method says function all right so I will actually just convert to stateful widget and initialize a boolean is loading let's go back to the login and I will copy all of these paste it in here we need to import it like this all right so I will explain how forget password work with Firebase so the user just need to enter his email then an email will be sent from the Firebase to this email and the email must be registered before for sure so let's delete all of this and say in here dot send password reset email so this function and as you can see in here we send or provide the email so in here let's get this email from here and say in here in here dot trim dot to lowercase just like this and this should work correctly all right so now we need to call this method uh, I will actually initialize a button for it so search for log n so I will just copy this elevated button and we can paste that below of the text field I will add some margin between it, between it and give it height like this we don't actually need this we can try another maybe password maybe email for example it doesn't has an email let's try so I will choose this one and in here say or uh, reset password like this now for, for the color let's uh, choose the theme dot of context dot card color like this now save the file and see all right so here it is let's add in here main access alignment dot center and cross access alignment cross access alignment to center and main access size and give it main access size dot main all right uh, I actually prefer to give it to the start let's restart it forget password in here all right so here it is uh, we need to change this size box uh, the size of the button I mean so let's fix it 
we can just drop it by some padding and say a near symmetric horizontal and give it padding of 25 like this all right so now let's give it a try i will enter any different email so let's try this press on it i got an error let's see what's the error All right, the validate was called on null. That's normal. We need actually to wrap this text form field by a form. So let's wrap it by a form and say in here key and provide its key. Like this. Let's try now. It looks that it is working. Try. All right, so here it is. I got an error in here so I will enter a valid email now so let's say test 21 and I got different error that email is not registered yet I will enter an email that's being registered before so Firebase so this one I will press this I got no error alright so if you can see and my Firebase collection and the users tab and the authentication I have this email all right so let's check my inbox here it is as you can see reset your password for store up all right so if you press now on this link you can paste in the new password and it will be changed so in here I will choose for example one two three until nine save and now the password has been changed all right I want to show you something now if you go if you go to the templates in here as you can see there is many things so go to the password reset and in here you can say the center name so let's say in here store up team like this and let's put our app name in here store up and in here also our app name and in here our app name um, actually in here the user email will be all right so you can change it as what you want and hit save and let's give it a try again uh, before that we give it a try let's actually add a toast for it and actually if you are using the in null safety this toast will not work there's actually another package for the toast which is works just the same as this one which is the flutter toast and i do recommend you to install it and this is the user usage of it all right so let's copy this now and we can call navigator dot pop actually to it if you want all right so one, since we are awaiting it we can just paste it in here and say await and uh, we don't have to await it in here just import this and Oh, we never installed this package before so for that I will install the flutter toast so go to installing I will actually just copy this and wait till it's done just go back to the readme and copy this go back to the forget password and in here paste it we need to import it I will just copy it from here paste it in here and change this to an email has been sent for example and once it is done we can call now navigator 
dot pop to it but as usual before that we call this let's check and make sure that it can pop by calling can pop to it if not do do nothing just like this in here I still getting an error let's make sure of the here it is it's being added but I still getting an error all right so once I saved the pop spec to channel file the error is gone let's use this is loading also so instead instead of this button in here let's hit change it uh, actually yeah let's hit change it to circular progress indicator actually the circular progress indicator you can give it some attributes like the color for example so let's say colors dot green if you want save it try it now and see here it is we can uh, drop it by a line for example and say alignment alignment dot center like this all right so now let's see the email I guess I got an error in here which is related I guess to the toast all right we will check it later so let's check the email now all right so here it is another email I received another email so zero minutes ago as you can see and here it is so everything is here is, is in here and you can change it as what you want all right so that's it for this tutorial oh, before that we finish we let's say check this error in here all right so since we added a new package which is the flutter toast let's cut the process and run our app again and see what will happen all right so let's try now and see what will happen and first let's disable this save the app again and go to the forget password screen and, and here enter your email press on reset password and see all right the toast appeared in here let's uncomment this and see what will happen all right so it is working fine so the error was uh, is to cut to the process and run around the app again and i do always recommend you to cut the process and run your app again once you add a new package and in this tutorial we added the flutter, flutter toast package and that's why we got that error before and everything is working fine and in here for sure they sent me an email as you can see in here so we tried five times so i got five emails all right so that was for this tutorial see you in the next tutorial